Hello Libra, thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm going to use the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For the support of Oracle Cards, I'm going to use the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I already shuffled, let's go ahead. All right. All right. Going into this situation, whatever it is, in the action line you have seven of cups. This is looking at options. This is considering other points of view. Going through possibilities. Now, it feels like there's a lot of people involved and I'm saying that because it says helpful people at the bottom. A lot of people have a lot of ideas. Everything you're seeing here, though, that you're, you're thinking whatever is the majority is going with, you're thinking there's something better than this. And I feel like that's how we're going into this. The majority seems to be going one way, but you're feeling there's a better way to do it. I don't feel like you're in agreement with the majority here. Is that correct? Okay. Now... The majority does seem to rule here, though, because I see the, the Queen of Pentacles is the next in the action line. There's a lot of caring going on here. Like, people are concerned for others, have care for one another. But the environment seems very active in getting this going, choosing this new direction, or going this... Whatever these options are, they seem to be happening. And I, I'm, I'm having a hard time feeling that there's only one because it seems like there's a whole it's almost like a subject or like a almost like the atmosphere has been changed and that was the whole change here and things to, there's a lot of things going in different direction but they're based on this whole theme going in different direction now the environment knight of swords going right forward people the people who are in agreement with this moving right forward with it the Queen of Pentacles in the action line, I feel like you're doing your part to help it happen. Because the majority, it's one of those things where majority rules is what I feel. Now, the question is, what is happening here? Because I'm seeing in this right above you, even though you're going along with everything, I feel like you're very unhappy with it. You have the Devil card in the center, you have the Hierophant on one side, and you have the Eight of Cups on the other. Just want to make sure that was the eight. Now, the devil card in the center, like that's telling me you're very unhappy with this. You do not like how this is going. You feel like this is the wrong move. The two cards flanking it are the options you're considering here. Part of you wants to just walk away from it. And is considering, like, should I walk away from it? Is that really an option for me? Especially because it's this card, I feel like you're questioning, is that even an option for me? But you, I feel like part of you would like that. The other one here, the Hierophant is kind of being, even though you don't like it, kind of dedicating yourself, like you're, you've dedicated yourself to the situation, honoring the situation and sticking with it even though you don't like it because the gift of the situation is the connections you already have here, just playing your part type feel. But the Devil card in the center means either way you're not happy about it. Whether you stay or go, well, I shouldn't say that. Considering if you stay or go, um, and sticking with it and still pulling your your weight on the situation, you're still not happy about it. I just feel like the overwhelming energy here is the devil card, saying you're not happy about it. How intense that gets. Some people, I feel, will just have like a, a rant, or they'll like just have a moment where they'll just freak out about it, maybe on their own, and just get really pissed off about it. And maybe still not be happy afterwards, but they'll have their moment where they can really express how they feel to themselves, kind of vent it out, and just keep moving forward. <sighs> Others of you might talk to other people, and I'm wondering if that's actually what's more likely going to happen here. Because 
I'm getting the next card for you is the, it's up to you how you want to handle it. I do feel like you have to have that devil moment where you have to vent it out one way or another just to release it so you're not held down by it. But once you've released it, even if it's like a little freak out moment to yourself, maybe you're driving home from work and you're just like bitching to yourself about what is going on and why you don't like it and why you feel it's wrong. When you get through with that, it's after that moment that it's up to you what you're going to do with that situation or this situation. How do you want to go forward? Now, I feel like this is also an empowering moment where you've decided... You know what, maybe I need to get in there and, sh and say what I'm thinking because I really think this is the bad direction to go. Now I'm noticing the Knight of Pentacles in the action line. Nope, it's Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. But I feel like it's kind of like trying to go back and trying to get a reconsideration on the situation. Because when he pops up in the reading, he's like, he's headed back towards the beginning. Like, he's facing the beginning, and I'm noticing that very strong in this reading. Like, he's trying to go back, and he wants to go back and change things. Because I feel like you plead your case to somebody. Or if it's not somebody, it's maybe a couple people. You're trying to explain why you think this is a bad idea, and that you should, we should change direction now before we get too deep in this, because I don't think this is a good idea. But you're met with that opposition is what I'm seeing here with the queen of swords I don't feel like I don't feel like this is going your way I feel like people are defending what has been already chosen and every time you say why you think it should change somebody else has a reason why it's better to keep going the way it is and why it's the better choice to do what was already chosen like it seems like majority rules here and that seems to be what you're getting pushed back on like people are saying no this is the better direction. We should be keep going. This is a good way to go. This is best for everybody. We're going to keep going this way. Now, I do see an interesting connection here, what seems to stem from that. Seven of Pentacles going into the Knight of Cups. I feel like it just keeps going the way it is. I feel like you're realizing it's just it's going to keep going the way it is. The decision's been made. The new path has been set. Everybody's on it. I feel like with the, especially with the Knight of Cups here, like I feel like you're giving into it and you're just kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to have to give into it and get into it. That's, I just give into it and get into it. And I feel like you're just kind of getting along. It's more about the relationships here than the actual situation. And you're just changing your focus on what's actually going on and just doing your part, but focusing on the relationships more than the situation itself, if that makes sense. Especially when it comes to, like, the Five of Cups here. Nope. Five of Pentacles. Apparently, I can't keep that straight in my head. I'm calling I'm calling Wands Pentacles. I'm calling Pentacles Cups. This is great. <laughs> Why am I doing that? Is there some confusion? No. Okay. So, I was like, is it just me? Or is this like, no, it's fine. Just keep going. This is a card that usually you fill on the outside. And I feel like this is more where you start... When you're, when you're with the uh, Seven of Pentacles, when you're just kind of doing your part, you got that pushback, you realize it's not changing, so you're holding up your end of the bargain right here. You're sticking with it. You are doing the Hierophant thing. You don't really like it, but you're sticking with it. It then becomes the Knight of Pentacles, or the Knight of Pentacles. Here we go again. The Knight of Cups, because I feel like you want to be more included. You want to feel like more a part of the whole situation. Eh, what are we talking about here? You rather just center on the people. And you want to keep those relationships strong. You want to let it go. You, you, you're just not, you're not going to hold on to it anymore. I feel like you're just accepting it for what it is. Because the Knight of Cups here is telling me it does go better in the end, but I'm worried, like, are you still feeling like you're left out? That's what I'm questioning. I feel like this is kind of moving on. This card seems to be just a temporary moment. Like, there's a period of time after you get the pushback, like, they're not changing their mind, keep going the way we are. There's a period here where you have that Five of Pentacles, where you're feeling left on the outside. But that that Knight of Cups is definitely coming into your future, because I feel like you're letting it go. And you prefer just to feel more part of the group, so I feel like you're just letting it go. 
So that doesn't stay too long. I think that's what I was most concerned with. How long would this Five of Pentacles stay with you? It doesn't seem like it's going to stay too long. But it's like when you get that pushback, I feel like that this is how you feel from that pushback. You feel like you're on the outside when you're getting that pushback because people don't seem to agree with you. And that's kind of a rough thing. You just kind of fall in line, do your part, sticking with it just to make it work out. And then you just kind of get used to it. And I feel like relationships go back to the norm. I feel like this is kind of a normal thing for you. Things feeling good, feeling like a part of the group, feeling valued, that type of thing. You're just, you're realizing the decision is already made. You're just going with it and letting it go. I feel like you're riddle, literally letting it go. This kind of put you on, on the off because it didn't go the way you wanted it to originally. And it's still not at the end here. But I feel like you're just letting it go. And you're just like, you know what? It is what it is. I can't change it. I accept that, but I don't want to dwell on it, so I'm just going to let it go and keep moving. Good? Good. All right, I hope that helps. Is there something else here? There's nothing else here. I feel like that you do have to go through this moment with the devil card, though. I don't think there's a way around it, because I feel like that's processing your emotions, letting yourself release it, and then talking it out with other people. I feel like that's important, too. Because I feel like you're giving it a shot. You're showing how dedicated you are to the situation. I don't feel like it comes across wrong. But I do feel like you don't like the outcome. Because it doesn't seem like your words are having the effect you'd like them to. But it's still, the end result is good. The Knight of Cups. Things are going to come back together. The situation is going to be good. You're still going to have these good relationships. So things are fine. It's just getting through this moment. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.